Good day, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tiny Tegofa Balitla. I'm a graduate of the Open University and I'm currently a lecturer here in Kutu University. I'm with my co-presenter here and we are going to uh, give you a presentation on our research proposal, which is uh, the role of Blackboard in enhancing graduate employability skills. A case study for second year students. Now, before we go in into our topic, let's talk a little bit about Butch University. Uh, Butch University is a university registered with the Tertiary Education Council. It has student population of more than 500, I mean, 5,400 staff members. There are three campuses. The main campus in Haburoni, uh, there's another campus in Francistown, and the last one in Maung. We have four uh, faculties, which are computing, business, uh, we have education, and accounting and finance. We have uh, recently introduced an online application called Blackboard, which is uh, intended to complement our traditional way of teaching, uh, which emphasizes face-to-face -face interaction. <coughs> now, why did Butch University introduce Blackboard? We all know that the demand for our uh, high school graduates is growing locally and globally. It is therefore imperative for the university to come up with strategies and measures that nature and develop the students in their disciplines. In such a way, we are enforcing our uh, necessary skills needed by the employees. And uh, the aim of introducing this application is to improve the student performance and this will ultimately uh, develop their employability skills. Consequently, producing the graduates who are confident with the skills and the knowledge they possess. Our research problem, uh, Butch University has invested financially in a special software called Blackboard to enhance its academic delivery strategies. This major investment demands full utilization, both by the lecturers and the students, and we intend to find out some answer to some important questions, which are as follows. What is Blackboard? And what are the benefits of Blackboard? Are the students knowledgeable about the skills they can acquire from using Blackboard? What skills are being imparted by the use of Blackboard that the employers need? Another question is, what is the role of Blackboard in enhancing employability skills? Are students knowledgeable? Uh, I mean, are students and lecturers really using this application? And if they are using it, for what are they using it? Is it really improving the student performance? Does it enhance graduate employability skills? These are the objectives. To establish if students and lecturers are knowledgeable on Blackboard and its role in enhancing basic, uh, basic graduate employability skills to establish how lecturers are using Blackboard in the delivery of their lectures, establish how students are using Blackboard to enhance their employability in the global labor market. Now before we carry on, uh, before we continue, we talk about Blackboard, let's, uh, uh, let's just appreciate the classroom-based learning. This is a way of teaching where lecturers and uh, the students uh, interact on a daily basis or in a specified 
uh, time in a classroom and uh, the lectures deliver the content by using uh, whiteboards, uh, projectors use laptops uh, to project the, uh, the slides which guide them in delivering the lesson content. And this form of teaching is vital because the lecturers or tutors interact with the students uh, face to face. Now this gentleman here, uh, as you can see, urges that in a classroom situation, the trainer assesses the student's learning and potential, provides considered feedback and adapts the way that they instruct to best meet the needs of their students. However, the student is not entirely passive in this relationship, as they give the trainer valuable information about how they are progressing, areas in which they are doing well, and those that they would uh, need clarity on. Now, uh, I believe most of you here are lecturers. As you know, uh, as a lecturer, it's easy to tell the strength and the weaknesses of the student based on the way they interact in class. And however, these are form of teaching. In this form of uh, teaching, we are shouldered with uh, much responsibility in class. We are expected to know or to understand the topic completely. It's more like teacher no mistake, no audit. So, uh, in order to curb some limitations that uh, classroom-based learning have, the university introduced Blackboard to complement this traditional approach, which acts as one of the measures to improve delivery and enhance graduate employability skills. Blackboard is a virtual learning environment, or you can say is a web-based learning tool. It was founded by Matthew and Michael in the year 1997 and we have more than 50 learning institutions which are using this application. In Botswana, there are only two institutions which are using Blackboard. <coughs> it's uh, the University of Botswana and Botswana University here. Now, what are the features that's, that uh, we can find in Blackboard? We have the online content. Blackboard allows uh, the provision of materials online, such as the PowerPoint presentations. You can provide uh, the milestones, uh, the syllabus, and uh, other contents that you like to make available to your students. Students are uh, can use this material to upgrade their grades. We have another tool or another feature that is found in Blackboard, discussion board or discussion tool. With uh, the discussion board, students can engage in uh, or can post some uh, ideas or some topic that they would like to discuss and uh, these will allow students and instructors the ability to just share concepts, the ideas, the questions, and the answers. The sharing of ideas and the, uh, and the debating of issues in this discussion board uh, will actually just uh, enable the students or it somehow develop the students' uh, ability to work together as a team. Another feature is the chat environment and instant messaging. Blackboard provides instant chat, email, and private messaging where students can communicate with one another and even exchange the files. We have digital Dropbox and the Grade Center. With this one, uh, the students can submit assignments which were uh, posted or were 
are uploaded by the tutors to them. And the tutors can mark the assignments and return those assignments with feedbacks. And they use what is called what? The grade center. Announcements. With the announcements, uh, lecturers and the management can announce, uh, for example, the cancellation of lessons or postponed lessons, changes made to the course, uh, and this gives uh, what the lecturers and the management convenient way of communicating to students. Uh, and uh, irrespective of the time or geographical location. We have the assessment tool, which allows the creation of quizzes and practice exams for students to test their knowledge. And this online assessment measure the student progress and achievement of their objectives. Normally with the uh, assessment tool, uh, we'll have uh, the tutor will create some tests and set the period for which those tests will be released or made available for the students. So with Blackboard, uh, it's possible to just create some tests, put them in Blackboard, and set the time, the period for which they are released or made available to students. And the time when you can actually uh, retract or get the content back or make it not available to the students. And you do that using what is called the adaptive release. Here I have the interface of Blackboard. Of course, this uh, the interface of uh, Blackboard and the Good University. It is customized according to what we need here. And this is for the module PMD. It was created by the my module leader over there. And in this site, uh, you can see the different features or, yeah, different features. We have the study material where you upload the material for the course. These are the module assignments, provide assignment for the students. Classwork, video tutorials, you can have videos. Uh, the students can use, uh, can view them at any time when it's convenient for them the test, discussions, grades, and others. That was just to show you uh, the interface of a Blackboard. It's customized according to the needs of the module. Of course, uh, you can have it, uh, you can uh, create it according to the desires or according to your desires. Okay. Advantages of Blackboard over conventional approach. Uh, it is readily accessible anytime to students, regardless of geographical locations. Uh, globally, it allows dissemination of information. And it gives the lecturer diversity of the uh, lectures, display more information. Basic employability skills gained from using Blackboard. We have a team work. We talked about the discussion board. Uh, discussion forums encourage students to collaborate, uh, to collaborate. And as the students actively uh, hold discussions in discussion board with one another, they are actually like a team that is sharing ideas. And that is something that is required by the uh, employers who eventually hire them. We have communication and interpersonal skills. In a work environment, communication is very important. Uh, organizations mostly invest in email communications. Hence, by using the emails and discussion forums, the students develop their communication and interpersonal skills. Another uh, uh, skill is self-management and this one is imparted to the students in the sense that they're given timed assignments and tests. The students uh, have to discipline themselves enough to respond to the requirements of the work given to them on time. 
Uh, now, because of time, we are going to stop there. Let's look at the methodologies here. Uh, the research methodologies proposed. Uh, let me remind you, this is just a proposal to evaluate the skills that can be imparted to students through the use of Blackboard. So uh, the researchers were going to use both the qualitative and the quantitative approach to gather information. And this will help us discover detailed information and clear picture of what to expect from the respondent about the topic. We have uh, more than 900 students, uh, second year students in Virginia, and we intend to at least distribute questionnaires to 25% of the student population and staff. Presentation of findings, pie charts, and graphs. Now my time is up. The moderator is shaking his head. <laughs> <laughs> A minute. Possible recommendations. Uh, this study will hopefully help us restructure our curriculum so that we can take full advantage of Blackboard to deliver its teaching material efficiently and at the same time impact special skills in our students. And we can have Illumini Association incorporated in Blackboard to keep in touch with students after they graduate. Uh, another thing that we recommend is to expand, uh, the university will, uh, could expand uh, the curriculum and reach a bigger student population through distance and open learning. That will be the end of my presentation.